There is a movement among U.S. capital to exploit prisoners. Partnerships between private business and the nation's correctional institutions are on the rise. Ample production space, flexibility in production scheduling. I mean, here you have a captive work, uh, captive work army. A select group of energized, motivated inmates are eager to work. The corrections industry is booming. I mean, this, this joint here ain't five years old. Some corporations made a mint off of this thing. In tight labor markets, where can you find additional workers and space for more equipment? How do you manage the ebb and flow of production? The solution? The resources inside America's correctional facilities. Hard working and reliable, inmates show up for work every day voluntarily. on probation or parole than were enslaved in 1850, a decade before the Civil War began. These competitive advantages are helping businesses to grow nationwide. And uh, what you see in Congress and what you see in state houses are the greasing of the conveyor belt on that, you know, that meat patty line. When I signed this crime bill, we together are taking a big step toward bringing the laws of our land back into line with the values of our people. And so it was President Bill Clinton who escalated the drug war far beyond what his Republican predecessors even dreamed possible. What you hear in popular discourse on talk radio stations or in the newspaper is lock them up, lock them up yesterday, or kill them. The problem in our poorest communities is not that there are too many police. The problem is that there are not enough police. When it comes to overcoming systemic racism and so many other problems in society, we ask too much of the police and too little of everyone else. Listen, please leave me alone. I told you the last time, please leave me alone. I didn't show anything. You see? And it, it becomes a political, again, an engine feeding an industry. The prison industrial complex. Men, we are not beasts and we do not intend to be driven or beaten as such. The entire prison populace has set forth to change forever the ruthless brutalization and disregard for the lives of the prisoners here and throughout the United States.